Hello everybody, welcome back to Warwickshire Outdoors. Uh, thanks for joining me today. Um, today I've done something a little bit different. Uh, I've been wanting to do some uh, flying filming for a while, but I hadn't really been, uh, you know, up to doing it really. I just wanted to fly without worrying about putting cameras in the aeroplane. So today what I decided to do, uh, seeing that the weather was really good for the first time in weeks and weeks and weeks, I had a, a, a weather window, is to come flying and just experiment where to put some of the cameras in the in the cockpit for future reference really. Um, the aircraft I flew today was Uniform India and it has an external GoPro mount attached to it as well which is uh, handy so that's why I took that today. Um, it was nice when I took off, it's sunny today, um, but around about halfway through the flight the weather changed a little bit, it got very windy and very bumpy, particularly over uh, towards Worcestershire, um, and then coming back, as you'll see on the film, um, the wind caught me out a little bit, there was a very strong gust of wind that blew me off uh, track coming into final to land. Um, I was able to compensate for it and make up for it, but it meant I had to crab into the wind quite a lot um, and the wind changed quite significantly uh, and it's quite windy now um, and every now and again you'll get two or three minutes where the wind really picks up um, so that's where we are at the moment so I've been flying, it was an enjoyable flight I'm now having my mug of club tea I've had a flying club piece of cake and um, I did just over an hour so I hope you enjoy the film. Um, the landing wasn't um, as smooth as I'd liked because another big gust of wind caught me coming into land. But I think it's quite important to, to show what's happened and maybe, you know, what you learn from things. I'm normally quite proud of my landings, but you never know when something's gonna catch you out. But I think the most important thing when you fly is recognizing what's going wrong and doing something about it. So, um, I'm not a flying instructor, these are not instructional videos, I'm a purely rec recreational pilot and I make films for fun. So here's the video anyway and I hope you enjoy it.
Alpha Uniform India is ready for departure. Golf, you're familiar to stand by, break off my golf control position. I've got to go, I'm a long way up, so plenty of time to get that golf off. Right, thanks, break off Uniform India, runway 36, uh, take off at your discretion, the wind is 290 at Sandler. Golf Uniform India. So here we are, nicely set up, we're at 2,000 feet and we're heading south towards the Cotswolds and then we're going to go out, out towards the Mulvins, over Worcester and then back to Wellsbourne
Well, it's a nice day, a little bit hazy, but you can see as far as the horizon. Um, a gentle breeze coming from the west. of 82 knots and my airspeed is about 97 knots. We're flying over some pretty bad flooding at the moment. over the M5. They were just approaching the River Severn, uh, which is really flooded.
following the length of the ball with the hills. But right on our nose is the town of Great Malvern and the stretch of the mountains ahead of us are the Malvern Hills, which we'll go and have a look at. setting, which I've now put into my altimeter, which means I've had to gain a little bit of height to compensate to make sure I join 2,000 feet above the airfield. And we're going to be doing what is known as a standard overhead join, where we join the airfield at 2,000 feet, descend on the opposite side of what is known as the dead side to the circuit and then join the circuit and come in on land. Stratford up and Avon is right on our nose. It's a little bit calmer here, a little bit less bumpy. As I said, that starts to bump. Never fly to over Stratford on even. I'm maintaining a nice 2,000 feet. Nice steady altitude. Keep the RPM down a little bit. The eyes aligned. Just need to be aware of the wind. Golf Uniform India, uh, 
Okay, the overhead is sitting at the top. Peter from India, report downwind, 36 left hand, currently one in the circuit. Go feed from India. from India, downwind to land. From India, report final, runway 36.
Um, for those of you who aren't aware, there's been an awful lot of rain in the UK now for months and months and months, well since last year, <laughs> end of last summer probably, um, and there's been quite a lot of floods. Um, you do see quite a bit of the flooding uh, on the film that I shot today, uh, particularly over in Worcestershire, um, going over the River Severn and the River Avon. So um, yeah, that's quite something to say and I, it makes you really appreciate the fact that you're not flooded yourself um, because my heart goes out to the people who are. Um, so if anybody who is watching this video who is a victim of the flooding at the moment, um, my sympathies are with you. So during the video and during the flight you might hear uh, me talk about circuits and uh, for people who aren't aware of circuits, uh, that basically it's a uh, prescribed pattern or, or route that aircraft flying around an airfield take when taking off and landing, um, which is shown on this map here. So here's Wellsbourne Airfield and you can see the alignments of the runways and this is basically the circuit that you would fly. Rather, if you've taken off from here, you'd avoid the village. So you take off from here and you follow this route around. Um, it makes sure that all aircraft joining to land or take off from the airfield are flying in the same direction at the same height um, and it avoids confusion. You can imagine the confusion if everybody just came from different directions and landed any way they wanted to. So there's two runways at Wellsbourne. Um, there's um, runway 18 and 36, um, which is the main one that I use today. And if you wonder why runways are numbered, basically it just tells you which heading the runway is in. So, for example, runway 18 points 180 degrees, and runway 36 points 360 degrees. When we're talking about a standard overhead join, which I did, because I was coming in from across here, okay, from Worcester. Uh, a standard overhead join is a way of joining the circuit that everybody will do, okay? So, I was coming in from this way at 2,000 feet. So what you do is you join overhead at 2,000 feet. Now, that's 2,000 feet above the airfield, not above sea level. Okay, now there is a dead side and a live side. The live side is where the circuit is. So that's where there's going to be traffic. The dead side... Is where you descend so you come over here at 2,000 feet and then you descend here down to a thousand feet and then you join over the runway numbers at a thousand feet join the circuit come down onto final approach and land and that's what I did today <laughs> 